Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 56. So let's fight them Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. Alright, let's light that torch again. Doing pretty well, I've only got, been hit a few times. Eh, nah, stupid thing. <laughs> Kill him. Light this thing. I guess I just won't break those. Um, did I fall down one of those sections? I'm gonna do a quick hop over there. Just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Yep, all good. So we jumped down there, we did that bit, we jumped over here. Okay, that's what I did. <laughs> Let's climb back up, and now we can continue from this point. Yeah, I hate this section, and one of the things that doing a practice playthrough does is help you kind of uh, understand that... Well, I mean, it's like, it goes both ways. It's like... You can go, try and go really, really, really slow and just you know, make sure that you 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 don't have to do it again, basically. Uh, can I break those? I want to kill this guy. He's apparently praying to the sconce. Okay, I want to see if I can break these through the wall. Nice. Where's my, oh, I was going to say, where's my durability? Can I break this one through the wall, though? Where is it? That one spits at me. Ah. Okay, yeah, use a mixture of L2, L, R1, ah, god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oof, okay. <laughs> R1 and R2 to, um, to break those. Jesus. <laughs> Almost died. Okay, what I was saying was, like, if you just take your time, you can make things a lot easier. So I'm trying to do that while also trying to make progress. Um, Alright, so we're good there, we're good there. Let's collect all this stuff. I'm not going to break these ones because... Ooh, Twinkling Titanite, because we don't need to. The other ones that's below was like, there's so many, so I may as well. Smooth and Silky Stone, Human Effigy, Fragrant Branch of Yore. Ooh, that's an important one. Didn't know there was a Fragrant Branch of Yore there. Uh, okay, so now we can jump down there, correct? Let me have a look over here. So all that was here was just a breakable area. Okay, cool. Yep, so now we're going to go this way. Um, so just jump down here. Break these two. And light these three sconces. One, two, three... I'm trying to picture, like, as I'm playing, I'm trying to picture Dark Souls 3 and remember what the hell this area was called in that game. Yeah, I'll take a quick sip, even though it shouldn't be that bad. I noticed this guy was getting very close to the edge, so turn around to kill him. There's a few more up there, but it doesn't look like they're going to move. Ah! Oh my god, that hurt. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Do I have a normal life gem? I actually want to use... Oh, I don't. How the hell did I run out of life gems? <laughs> That's very weird. Break that. We're actually uh, heading towards the end at this point in time. Sky alive? No. Oh, the Dark Pyromancy Flame. I didn't explain that last time. Uh, we can use it. We can relight the... Come on, attack. Oh, I want him to make... Fine, I'll do that. Be very careful with this guy. He he can be like very dangerous very quickly, as you can see. Take a sip. Good. He hit me twice, but I don't care. He died. And the way the dark pyromancy flame works is um, is there a thingy there? There is. There's a little shadow dude there, smooth and silky stone. Didn't know about that one until I just... I felt that my character couldn't um, move properly, so I was like, yeah, there's probably one there. Probably a, quite a lot around here. Anyway, Dark Pyromancy Flame scales with your hollowing, so if you're dead, um, you'll get a lot more effect out of it. That's the difference between it and the regular Pyromancy Flame. And I believe there are enough fire seeds in the game to upgrade both to plus 10, so that's pretty good. But since I spend most of my time alive, 
Um, I like to use the regular pyromancy flame. Um, let's see if I can break these two. Good. Well, I need to use a repair powder. Just like before uh, the next bonfire, but we'll find out. Is this gonna break? No, I think actually below us, I think it's death. Oh, nice. Oh, don't kill me. Nope. Double note. Wow. I don't know how I didn't get poisoned. Okay. Oh, it's the one on the ground, isn't it? Nice. <laughs> can I target him? I can't target him. I can probably throw the fireball at him. <gasps> oh my god. Where the hell did you come from? He must have been like clinging to the edge. There's another one. Where did he come from? And attack. Oh. Roll. Stop that. I can't reach him. There we go. Okay, there we go. Take another sip. Can I climb any higher? Because I think that's an area that you can... Yeah, you can go up there, but I don't think from this point you can. Okay, anyway. So, anyway, so far so good. Every path that I've taken has m made it like a straight, linear thing. So hopefully that continues. Obviously we're going to double back at some point, but for right now it's pretty good. There's another one. This place is huge, by the way, like astronomically huge. Okay, let's climb across this. Where are we now? Let's avoid this guy. Avoid his dark stab. You can see like the knife that he uses it has a dark element to it. Oh god. So glad I didn't fall down immediately, um, but I will probably go down. There we go, yeah, let's go down. Um, yeah, it's safe to fall down here. Oh god. Nice. One, two, roll. One, two. Yeah, yeah I didn't get hit. I do that a lot. I do that a lot in this area. I press like forward R1, and he does that, like uh, what is that? Smack open attack. <laughs> Hello. No, don't. Oh, a flame butter. Oh, I never noticed that. What if he drops anything good? Um, do I have a torch around here that I can light? Yes, I do. A sconce. Wow, I never, this is the, one of the first ones that I haven't noticed. I think there's only two that I haven't killed in the game before. And uh, this is one of them. <laughs> Whee! Anything good? Old Radiant Life Gem. I guess that's alright. It's a decent, like, enough item. It's just that it's not that commonly used. Um, they're going to spit at me. Okay, so this bit sucks because... I mean, there's pretty much nothing you can do. I might get poisoned, so what I'll do is I'll get the poison moss ready. Nice. Didn't get poisoned. Careful. Nah. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Oh well. Poison moss worked out. That is hard to do, by the way. What I just did, like that jump turn, is pretty difficult. Alright, here's the next area, but we're going to go over here because it's a beautiful bonfire. Hooray. I wonder if I completed everything that I got past already. Um, should I use a bon... Oh, there's an item over there. Yeah, let's use the bonfire. That's okay. Alright, so now we're at the central gutter, and we're really close to like the next area, so... But in terms of like completing this area, well, there's still a lot to go. So we're going to try and just make it through. Okay, so let's kill him. Just break everything, kill everything. There's another enemy. We're going to go fight him first. Nice. Just be very, very careful. Roll. It's all about taking your time. 
Especially with this game. <laughs> there's an enemy, um, it won't come up until pretty much right at the very end of this guide, but there's an enemy I was fighting just yesterday, because I said I was like pretty much done with the game now on my practice playthrough, and he is without question the strongest like non-boss enemy there is in the game. He can basically three-shot you, even if you're wearing the strongest armor in the game. And I'm not really sure why, but he can. And when we get there, if I can beat him in one go, you have to beat him twice, technically. Well, you don't even have to beat him, but it's, it makes it a lot easier if you do. Um, let's go this way. But yeah, he's extremely difficult. And if you can just, you know, come up with a strategy, which I did come up with a strategy, it's not a fantastic one, but it works. Um, then, yeah, it's good. Oh, there's this guy. Roll. Okay, this guy doesn't explode, but he does create like a dust cloud, so be careful because it will knock you back. Poison arrows. Uh, more poison statues. There's a sort of a mini boss in here. It doesn't appear anywhere else in the game, and I'm not really sure what the point of it is, but um, there is one in here. So we're going to use fire to get ourselves through. Okay, there's some combustion damage. Don't let these guys like release their kind of like um, mist, misty substance on you because that will um, damage your gear. So for this guy, I like to just fireball him to death, even though I will run out of fireballs. You know what? Let me see how much damage this does in total. He just stands there. Why did that one do less? Okay, that's not too bad. I can't remember what his gimmick is like. Cause I'm pretty sure he can hurt you, but if you just attack him from like far enough away, he doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, one more hit. There we go. There's a weird, giant, freakish, like egg laying creature I guess and what is he guarding anyway I don't remember three poison mosses <laughs> four poison mosses how who designed that <laughs> maybe there's some kind of story reason for him and I don't even you know it's not clicking oh well let's keep going because we're making good progress through this area I haven't died yet which is nice way to jinx it all right, so let's go through here. Um, now, yeah, going down these is annoying. So I'm gonna pick one and hopefully it doesn't break off. Can I climb back up? Yes, I can climb back up on this one, so I'm gonna go down it. And now, I'm pretty sure if I go down, I can climb up that one. Okay, let's do a little bit of a risky play here. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go ring of blades, change to cat ring. Then we're going to walk off, press R1, kill him in one shot. Then we're going to heal up, which I don't even think I took. If I took damage, it was extremely minor. Uh, let's keep that on. I don't think I'll need the ring of blades for this part. I think I'll need the ring, uh, silver cat ring a little bit more. Um, now, can I get there from anywhere? So both of these lead to the top. I'm gonna try and get that one from over there. So how do I do that? Do I go from, probably there, let me try that. So go down here. The only problem with, use, with using that bonfire be from before where I said like, you know, whether or not I was gonna use it is now I don't know where I've, <laughs> where I've been because all the enemies are respawned. Okay, good rotten pine resin. There is an item just below me. I wonder if I do this. That was actually really good. <laughs> I thought there was an item in that pot actually, but there's one here. Oh, a great club. Okay. Insert name of a great nightclub for joke. 
Um, do, 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 do. Okay, so what we can do here is pretty much the same thing. I'm going to try and get a little bit further away. Got him. Barely took any damage. So I'm going to try and be careful here and just kill all these little hollows. Yeah. Uh, and before I forget, let's climb back up so I can... No, wait, wait, it's not this one. It's this one here. I'm trying to collect absolutely everything. Jeez, I can't believe how much damage that did to me when I fell from that height. It was, that's like nothing. I mean, yeah, I did a plunging attack, so that I'm pretty sure that reduces the amount of damage you take from falling. Um, but still, did a considerable amount of damage. Okay, I want to jump. I want to jump over here. I'm just going to run. Like that one. Uh, I can't reach that one at the moment. So let's do this. Like these. 20 life gems. <laughs> That's actually one of the most um, interesting placements for an item. 20 of them. It's very good if you're doing. I, I saw. Oh man, I'm out of time. <laughs> I saw a speed run and uh, he picked the guy picked that up when he was doing it. He did a hundred percent achievement speed run. That's insane, in like six hours. For normal Dark Souls, that is not for Dark Souls Scholar Scholar of the First Sin. There's a lot more to do here. I see a guy. All right, I'm going to stop here when I kill this dude. I always want one of these guys to drop something better than a smooth or silky stone. Like you know, oh, reward the player with. Um, exceptional eagle vision <laughs> all right anyway we'll stop there um all right i want to thank you all for watching episode 56 of let's platinum dark souls 2 scholar of the first sin my name is ultima 456 you're the ultimates and i'll see you next time